Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time you're watching this video. It's Mr. Connolly back with your Year 9 iMedia pod. Today we're looking at visualisation diagrams. Okay, so by the end of today's lesson you should understand what a visualisation diagram is and you should be able to create an effective visualisation diagram. Okay, so here I've got a low level, so okay, this would be mark band one if we were talking in an exam speak. So a low, a low, a low level example of a visualization diagram. Okay, so can you guess what a visualization diagram is? So if we look at the image, we've got tracks. Okay, it looks like it's a, an album cover. Okay, so a CD album cover. We've got a title of our album. We've got some graphics we've got a band name we've got some other information now it it looks to me a little bit like a plan so can you guess what a visualization diagram is a visualization diagram is a drawing created by hand or digitally showing what something will look like when created they're used to plan for still images or for products and can be a rough sketch or a detailed final design. Okay, so our surface learning outcome for today is to be able to understand what a visualization diagram is and how it's used. And we should be able to create a visualization diagram that is actually useful. Did you know the very earliest recorded visualization diagram came from cavemen okay through cave paintings ahead of their time okay we're going to watch a short little video now okay this is leonardo da vinci and he obviously was an inventor and he created some fantastic visualization diagrams of his ideas Okay, so imagine this. This is a visualization diagram for Leonardo da Vinci in the 15th century. What do you notice? Give you a couple of seconds just to have a look at it. Okay, hopefully you noticed that there's detailed drawings And detailed annotations. Now remember, annotations is a posh word for label. And what the annotations are doing, they're explaining what the drawings show. Okay. Visualization. What does the word mean? Okay, so when we talk about the word visualization, we're talking about what something's going to look like. Okay, when we talk about diagram, it's a sketch. So this is a siege machine that was drawn by Da Vinci in 1480. Okay, who would use this drawing? It would be the army, whoever he was designing it for, as engineers, would then take this drawing and they would create the product, okay? So Da Vinci was a man ahead of his time. Did you know 
He drew the first ever fly machines as far back as the 15th century. So a visualisation diagram is a drawing of a product before it's made. It's annotated as well, okay, to explain the design. So it could be annotations of the dimensions, of the sizes. If we're talking about a digital graphic, we could be talking about the resolution. You could be talking about the colours, the fonts, your design ideas, the denotations. Now, denotation is a posh word that describes what you want the product to feel like. Okay, is it going to be a dark product? Is it going to be a happy product? Is it going to be a product that has effects so it's going to grab people's attention? Okay, is it going to publicize something? So these are all annotations, labels that you should include in your visualization diagrams. Okay, we should now understand what a visualization diagram is and how it's used. So it's a visual plan. So it's a plan of a product that you're going to create. Okay, it should contain detailed diagrams and detailed annotations that explain the design, should explain the fonts, the colors, okay, and um, the dimensions, things like resolutions, how many dots per inch you're going to use, and it should also talk about the denotations. So what do you want the product to feel like? You might also want to include links back to the client brief because remember you'll be designing a product that somebody's asked you to create. So what can you link back to the brief? Okay, and you also might want to make links back to your target audience. Okay, so what we're going on to do now is we're going to have a go at actually creating a visualization diagram that's actually useful. Okay, did you know? Visualization is any technique for creating images, diagrams, or animations to communicate a message. Visualization through a visual imagery has been an effective way to communicate both abstract and concrete ideas since the dawn of humanity. Okay, so remember when we did our mood board last lesson where you were creating a new comic book hero? This week, you're going to create a visualization diagram for a new weapon for that superhero okay so you're going to design a weapon and annotate it make your annotations nice and detailed okay so here's an example here we've got a sketch of what the weapon's going to look like okay and then we've annotated what design features now we could make this a lot better because we haven't really talked about the colors we're going to use in this example we haven't really talked about um our denotations okay what we want the product to feel like we haven't really talked about the dimensions okay or the resolution so on your one that you create these are things that you should want to include so how big's the weapon going to be maybe do it in centimeters millimeters or pixels if you're going to do it on the computer resolution okay isn't really a factor here because it's going to be a solid product Okay, but you would want to label up the colours. You might want to label up the materials that you're going to make the weapon with. Okay, have a go at doing that, and we'll have a look at it when you're finished. This is the end of the pod video. Thank you for your um, attention, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.